Hey everybody, this is Yaya. I'm the administrator for Planet Creeper. And today I'm going to start a new video series showcasing our community as it grows. We've only been playing for a couple of months now, but I want to do a base tour and check out how everybody's doing and tour our community. I'd like to do this every Friday, if possible, so you all can see how things change over time. I may do it every other Friday. You'll have to just check in and see how that goes. Our nether hub is a work in progress, so some of the tunnels are different than other tunnels, but that's just the way it works. For now, anyway. Until we get around to making it symmetrical for everyone. This is kind of the design that we're going for with uh, all the main tunnels right here. And this is going to be a huge open hub area when we're done with it. Here's our little uh, hogland trading area going to get moved once we redesign the uh, inside. I'll take you to the community first. In past seasons I've always built a really big community center that had a community storage area, redstone, um, mailbox setups, and all that. But after all the times that we've, all the seasons we've been playing, it just isn't anything that's been seriously utilized. So this time I decided to do something a little bit smaller. It has a small little dome on the top outside. I'll show you in a minute. So everybody calls this the Capitol building, which is really kind of funny. Here's a map of our main spawn area. It's, as you can see, it's a mushroom biome. So we don't have to deal with mobs except for over here where the sand creeps up. Um, we do get some creepers that can walk up and some skellies occasionally, but overall it's a pretty safe area. Um, this is where we keep all of our shops and stuff. And this map up here, this is our carnival district. Um, we're setting up games. Players are creating games for people to play. Um, we just started working on this a couple weeks ago, so we've only got a few games up there right now. But it looks to be like a really fun area to be in. And then this is the maps of all of our areas that I've explored so far. I know there's some more that go over on this side um, that I just haven't had a chance to get out there and create. We're primarily a vanilla um, community, but we do have a few command blocks set up for one player sleep. And um, we have the rain turned off. We have a uh, fire tick turned off. And then as you can see on my screen right there, we have a thing called cash money. It's an electronic banking system. So everybody can deposit money or diamonds into the bank. And then when they come to the shopping district, they can withdraw that money from the bank and use it to spend in the shops locally. That way it kind of eliminates the need to have ender chests in every um, shop. And it's just kind of a cool thing to help speed up some of the competition. Um, you know, people want to see how much you've got and then try to beat that. Anyways, you can see this is just a basic little building I made like first couple of days on the server, put a little dome on top. And again, that's why they call it the Capitol building. Here's our Capitol guard to uh, keep the creepers out. We used to keep a door. We used to not have a door on here. And one of our players was standing in their AFK one day and a creeper came walking up over here and walked in the building and blew everything to bits. So we had to put in a door and hire some guards. We're still, as I've said, working on paths and all kinds of stuff here. So we just don't have a lot of, you know, completeness done, but we've only been up for a couple months. This is a little store by Chief. He sells some glass and sandstone and things like that. Here is, we were lucky, we found a bunch of cave spider spawners mm -hmm. underneath this mushroom biome. And so here's a cave spider grinder that we built. Uh, LaVista helped me with the redstone and helped me set up the actual spawn chamber, but I built the cave spider. Hopefully you guys like it. I know it's not really the right color, but we're playing in the vanilla BD craft texture pack, by the way, just so you know. It's really dark down here. I wanted it to be spooky when people came down, so I've used all blackstone. And then in here, of course, we've got to have our cave spider head. This is a little uh, abstract depiction of cobwebs. And then here's the spider eyes. 
And of course, we always have to have a little enchanting area. We put up a little chest or barrel for lapis for everybody to use. And a, we've got a, a disenchanting wheel. And I think we're going to put um, an anvil in there as well for people to use. Here's where our drops go. And here's a trash. goes into lava. So if we have things we need to throw away. And we just stand here. Flip the switch. All the lights go off in here. I'm not going to do that now. Um, and it gets really dark. And then we just kill them. Oh, I'm also using the uh, ESBE shaders. I think it's the V2. So you'll notice that, especially with the sky and the clouds and the lighting, that kind of thing. This is the Flaming Dragon. It is mine and Pack Rat's Elytra and Rocket Shop. The design is based off of a design that Meg Ray, a YouTuber, did. And then I kitted it out, so to speak, with all the decorations and that kind of stuff. She's got some really cool, easy tutorials to follow as well. I like the way she lays it out, so check out her YouTube channel when you get a chance. So we sell, like I said, Elytra, Rockets, and then we also sell um, Netherite Ingots and a few Shulker Boxes every now and again, just so we can compete with one of our neighbors who uh, also sells Shulker Boxes. Let me sleep real quick. You'll see in our messages when they pop up, it says, thanks, Yaya, because I am the sleeper of the server, sort of like B-dubs is on Hermitcraft. Everybody teases me because no one ever gets to be out at night if I'm playing. But I don't like things to blow up when I'm trying to build. I mean, who does? This is an awesome shop. It's one of the best ones on the server because it has everything you need. It is brought to us by Lavister. That's his face there he's a little teddy bear um, we have a guy on our server that makes these maps his name is uh, pit goose we call him goose and this is our as you can tell by the build this is our bookstore he literally has every book that you can get from a villager because he has a huge iron farm so we're super lucky that we can just walk in there and buy books if and when we need them oh let me show you my side screen too we also have a death counter as you can see, we have a player that has had quite a few deaths on here. Um, it shows offline unless the player is actually playing. And then as you can see, Hellhound's on, so he has two deaths so far. And I'm on, and I've only had one death since I've been playing this server. And that was Packrat's fault, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> um, of course, we have our basic slime shop that's from Chief. Uh, we have Carly, she builds, uh, or she sells redstone here at Strickland's Redstone, and she also sells different types of stone, which is really handy. I've needed her place a lot um, doing things because I don't mine a lot. Packrat is the miner in the family. Um, we also do a lot like Hermitcraft, where we play, pay one diamond block for a 10 by 10 plot, and that's worked really nicely for us. Um, I like it a lot. Uh, it helps make sure that you know, people are building because they want to build, so, and they try to build something really nice. This is our Prismarine shop brought to us by Coho, and it's the basic, you know, Prismarine stuff he sells. And then over here, we also have another Coho shop. It's his, his, he's called Lab Core. I don't know why he chose that, but he did. No copywriting on the actual name of the lab company. And then, so I just want to clear that up. This is uh, his end shop, and you walk in and you're like, oh, well, this is kind of small. It's nothing fancy. I hmm, wonder what he's got for sale. And so you open, open the chest, and here you go. Pretty cool. Scared me the first time. I'm not a big fan of heights, so I know it's not very far down there. But because I can't see, I'm not even going to jump. Because <laughs> I'm a chicken. See, this is what he, it's experiment two, he says. Um, but he sells some end armor, diamond stuff. And he also sells, obviously, he sells elytra. We were in com competition with him. And he sells uh, shulker boxes. And then to get out, you just come back here. And go up the water elevator.
Pretty simple. It's one of the more fun shops just because of the redstone. And then here we have Would You Be Mine? The log shop. It's, this is my shop as well. I sell logs. I don't know why. I do almost every season and it's exhausting. But it's it's a it's a good money maker, so I'm not gonna complain. I'm gonna check and see if I've had any sales today. I just restocked last night. Oh, it's here. I'm still missing a few there. I gotta finish restocking on that spruce. Luckily it's not too difficult to restock spruce. If you have elytra, you can fly up and down here pretty easily. Or you can climb the vines, which is really handy. And then over here is Rogue Shop. It's uh, similar to mine in the tree theme, but it's not a tree house. Uh, I believe he's going to be selling player heads. Or not player heads, but mob heads. We do have that add-on that Foxy Notel created. Um, but he hasn't stocked up yet. Here is the newspaper. And this is brought to us by Goose. He does an amazing job with the newspaper. A lot like Hermitcraft. I cannot imagine how difficult this is. He's shown me his map and it's it's just crazy. It's just crazy. But it's really cool and we all like it a lot. And of course here's our gold shop. The Gold Emporium. So we can buy gold to go trade with the Hoglands. And then over here... This is nothing. This is a joke shop. It was, it was some silliness. I had some zombies in there and stuff. And we have, we'll take it down at some point in time. This is a build by LaVistra and Ray. They haven't finished it up yet, but it's called Clayons. Um, as you can see, it's a crayon box. And they sell uh, colored concrete, obviously. And we'll, they'll be putting in terracotta, I believe. Which is why they say Clayons. This is Goose's Wool Shop. Cute little build. He always has really good inventory, although he's been out of white for a while. And then back behind here is a shop that Chief's been working on to uh, sell flowers. Chief also is working on our path set up here in town, so mm. he's, he's been really busy. So it's not quite open yet, but I really like the layout of it. It's super cute. And then we have the totem shop over here that's Lavisters. And he sells totems of undying and emeralds. Which is super cute as well. It's redstone, so people open it and they're like, oh, he's out. But you actually have to put a diamond in or in either one of them. And then the redstone pops out, from, or the, the totem of undying or the emerald pops out from the side. Hang on just a second. And then over here, I'll come down and show you from the top. This is our bank. This was built by Coho. LaVista did all the command blocks inside um, to set up the cash money setup that we have. I did the landscaping out here. It's just a simple landscaping. A little koi pond out here although I'm not really sure where all my fish are I had three at one point now I only have one hmm. interesting this is our entrance here and the creeper face the entrance can be deadly and this is the inside of the bank I did the decorating inside the bank as well the color palette and that stuff I finished off the ceiling um, for coho and did this back wall and then this is the command block setup this behind all of this is where all the command blocks are um, for cash money then you can withdraw either diamonds or blocks and you can deposit either diamonds or blocks and then we have like a little back area that we've been working on terraforming out and getting rid of all the mycelium and across there is where the carnival is and we'll go there in just a minute come up out of here we can swim over eventually we'll have a bridge or we can go over through the nether which is how I'll take us because it's easier oh yeah I forgot we have a another um, player who's going to be building a 
glass, I'm not sure, I think a glass shop up here. He put up signs, he's just started working on this. Potatoes Glass Emporium, coming soon, maybe. <laughs> That's potato. Over here is the portal to our carnival. I always walk out that portal wrong. So this game over here, this is brought to us by Wicked Kitten, and it's really fun. We have a fun time playing this game. It is a pit. I think we have an escaped pig. It is a pig maze race. So two players get on the pigs, lead them with the carrot on the stick, and then try to get through the maze faster than anybody else. Get to the other end. It's really fun. Pigs are such a pain. They never want to go where you want them to. This is my game. It's called Spleef. And the object of the game is for however many players who want to play go up there to the top they go to the top level and then they jump on together at the same time and they start breaking the blocks underneath them and the first person to land in the water down here loses and then they keep doing that until they're the last person standing Hang on just a second I'm gonna have to sleep again just so you can see things better I'll show you my shader though I'll let it get dark so you can see the shader the sky is really pretty in the shader pack. And we have the Aurora. Oh, Carly's going to sleep for us. There we go. This here is just a little house I built uh, for supplies, that kind of stuff. People to hit their spawn while they're over here working and building. And then this is the biggest game we have so far. This is brought to us by Pit Goose. It's an archery challenge game. Um, you find a partner and then one person comes on the blue side and goes up to the top there. And there's a target block. And then on the red side, same thing. They have a place where you can go up. And then the two players start at the same time. Mm -hmm. And whoever lights up all of these lights at the bottom first wins. And the way you light that up is based on where you hit the target. So the closer you hit the center of the target, the more of these lights along the top light up. And then once you hit a certain number of lights up here, you get points. And then as you get enough points, each light will come on. So it's really fun. I've prayed it in practice with him when he was developing it. He's got it in beta right now where he's asking for us to come and check it out to see how it's working and make sure it's playing right. But yeah, that's going to be a really fun game. And then on the back side over here, we have another small island and nothing's been started on it yet other than some clearing, but Pack Rat is building an archery game that's sort of based off of a paintball arena. So instead of having paintballs, that'll be bows and arrows. He wanted to do snowballs, but then was roundly disappointed when he realized that snowballs don't cause damage to players. So it's going to be archery instead and that's the spot right there he's gonna build it out at and that's basically all we have in the carnival area right now so I think the first base that we'll go check out will be I want to check out Trebs Trebulons but he's not been on for a little while and last time I was there he didn't have it very well lit and it was a creeper spawner. So I definitely don't want to go to that because I don't want to blow up anything. Let's go down here. Yeah, we have soul sand, soul soil under here. 
Uh, that goes to the stronghold, and that goes back to another main tunnel we haven't finished up yet. And then this is Hellhound's base. I'm going to go by there and check it out too soon. And a few other places out that way. This is Coho's base. He's doing a pretty epic build. Huge. Oh, I lied. I went into the wrong portal. This is his guardian farm slash mob farm. Very pretty. Very well set up too. Love how it looks. So over here must be his... Oops. Yeah, over here I bet is his base portal. I hope so anyway. Go in these portals and blow somebody's stuff up. I'll be upset. Or die. Yeah. This is his iron farm. You can see all of his villagers here. And this is his little enchanting area. Storage area. Like I said, he's been doing a lot of work on the outside. So he's everything's still inside here for now. I think he's been working on a big sorting system, actually. There he is with this little cow cooker. So yeah, as you can see, massive, massive build. It is gigormous and really, really cool. I could pop into creative, which would be a lot easier to fly around and show you, but I thought walking through would be a better, a better way, more personal way. Let me eat something. Okay. So yeah. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Yep. He's definitely working on a sorting system. Look at that dome. It's just gorgeous. I cannot wait to see it when it's done. I can't wait to see it in a couple of weeks when I come back out here. There's a little flower farm. This little bee farm. This must be... I don't know. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe somebody else will know. I don't know. I'm not a redstoner. I'm a builder. And a decorator. Although I've never built anything massive like this before, so... I think he just has a few little things around just to support his build, so I won't go showing you all of that. But this looks really cool. Very exciting. I heard some sort of monster growl at me. I don't know what it was. I'm glad I left when I did. This is a very long walk. This goes all the way up to zero, zero. And this is where I call them the Brits. They call themselves the Brits. I call them the boys. But we have about four guys who are all from the UK and are friends in real life or at least friends who've been playing together um, video games together for a long time. And they always play at zero, zero. And every season we've had, they're always at zero, zero, unless that's spawn. So I just dug a tunnel out there to them the other day so I could get to them faster. They had been going through this really janky way. So they now have a tunnel. Unfortunately, I don't have it set up with soul sand all the way through yet so it's a little slow but potato baked potato he's one of the main guys in the group and he always does a big pit um, he likes to build a pit and then put all of his stuff inside of it decorates it out really cool 
he's been working on his pit this season. He finally just came up with the wall design for it, which I really like a lot. Especially since it's wood and he, he buys a lot of the wood from my shop. So I can make some money. Oh, that's another pit. That's a different pit. That's not the regular pit. Here, we gotta go this direction. Oops, knew I was gonna do that. This is one of the guy's builds. I think this is Penguin and his panda house. Yeah, he's got this big panda house here. And then this is also part of Penguin's build, I believe. This is Rogue's build. He's got a really cool build with a glass ceiling and so you can walk over it and stuff. I really like how he has this laid out. It's super cute. Lots of natural light. Got himself some fish in the wall here. I was just here the other day, so it doesn't look like he's done much since my last visit. Yeah, we just came that direction. And then, oh, well, looks like they have a pool, a little hot tub room, more of a staging area, supplies, things like that. Maybe a little mine area. And I really don't know what this is all about. It's funny. But I'm not sure why. Let's go find the pit. You would think a big pit wouldn't be hard to find, but it's kind of hidden in landscape, so it's a little difficult to remember where it's at. And it's going to be nighttime out here soon, so I'm going to have to sleep again. Oh, yeah, this is their little barn area. Down this way? I'm so lost to it now. Oh, it is. We're here, finally. This is the pit. Hang on a minute. I'm going to sleep before. I don't want to get too close because those are stairs and you fall off even and crouch. But look at that pit. Crazy. There's stairs to get down to it, so I'll show you it in just a second. His previous pits have been a little bit more dangerous to get into. And one of the reasons why he actually has the most kills on the server, when I showed you that list, is because he falls in this pit a lot. Which is funny. Oh, looks like he has a skeleton spawner out here. So yeah, he uh, tends to fall in the pit, and he doesn't wear his gear most of the time, so I think a creeper may have blown this up the other day, because when I was here last time, that was not like that. Look at this beautiful stairwell. He still hasn't finished the ceiling, but I love the walls, I love the floor, I love how wide the stairs are, it's gorgeous. sword out just in case. Not sure how good they are in the lighting. Oh, okay. So he's got the template laid out to finish building out his walls now that he has the design. But this is what the basic design is going to look like all the way around the entire build. And then inside he usually has all of his stuff, his base stuff, you know, sorting, all that stuff that you would put inside a, a normal build base, all comes down here. His farms, whatever he needs, will be in this area. 
so yeah, pretty massive. I believe it goes from level 5, which is where we're at, all the way up to 68, I think? We'll have to double check when we go back up. So that's like 63 blocks deep. And I believe it's a 50 by 50 pit. Oh! Hey, Mr. Slime! I'll leave you slime babies. Long walk. Then we have to go back through the portal. Another long walk. So this is the uh, Brit's base. We'll do a stop by my base really quick, because it's on the way. We pass it up to go back out to the main nether hub. tunnel likes to spawn magmas and we play in hard mode so they're quite vicious there we go you know what I have to let me kill one I swear it just needs to be saying thou shall not pass have some sort of staff On the plus side, we get lots and lots of magma cream. Annoying as that is. Not quite sure it's worth it, but oh, I better eat. See, look at that. I'm in full netherite armor, and it still took me down. Three hearts! Three hearts! Now, to be honest, I hadn't eaten, so I wasn't full on health, but still, they're vicious. If we can stay straight on this path. While we are on PC, I do play with the controller, so I don't get as much exact control as I would with the keyboard and mouse. So I fall off this path all the time. Oh, it looks like Hellhound's in his room. Maybe we can go... Yeah, let's go see his place first, because it's actually before my place. Let me ask him if he's got anything. Looks like he's working on his tunnel. I don't think he saw me. Hound's only been on the server for mm, right at a week, I think, so. He's got a good foundation laid, though. I really like this. Ooh, right on the water. Oh, yeah, this is going to be nice.
Yeah, he's got a nice layout in here. I really like it. He's already got some heads going. This is his storage area. His mine down there. Yeah, doing a good job. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, it looks like Carly wants us to check her place out, so we'll check my place out last. LaVister is one of our main players. He's the base that I'd like to check out, but I don't think he's got anything built on the base yet other than his sorting system I think he was working at. So if we have time, I'll go check that out when we're done. And then we have, I will, let's go check out Creative Monkeys really quick before we go out to Carly's because he's pretty close. And Treb, he's one of our old players. He's been on for a long time, but he has had to be out for work a lot lately. So he doesn't have much built on his other than he has two. This is his main place where he just does a lot of the staging and gathering resources and then he has one that's not far off of spawn that's really cool build like I said earlier I'd love to show you that but it's not well lit and I don't want it to blow up from creepers so we'll have to show that another time when he gets back on but creative's place is he's been working on it quite a bit I love this little path area he has here he was right the right in a flower biome he's really close to Treb's house as well He's got a little waterfall going on there. Hopefully he has this lit up pretty good. He's one of my favorite builders on the server because he does some really cool building. So it looks like he's building a medieval style fantasy house. Let's hope he doesn't have any creepers inside. I went to Wicked last week to check out her build and came up the ladder just like this and there was a creeper standing right there blew up half of her upstairs area. Oh, that's cool. So he's got a little area you can see out here. And then another area here. Little balconies. And it doesn't look like he's got the rest of the upstairs done yet. So, oh wait, wait, maybe it's up here. Please don't have any creepers. Yay. Ah, a little storage space. He always likes to build these little nooks and crannies in his builds, which I really like a lot. On our website, planetcreepersmp.com, you can actually see um, a place that he built inside of our community village, uh, trading village that I built. He built the library for me, and it turned out really cool. I'm going to sleep again. Don't want to blow up people's builds. It's a bad thing. Sometimes if I hit the bed before the command block kicks in, it takes a little longer to sleep. But one player's sleep has been amazing. Especially when you have a lot of players on at one time, then you don't have to worry about everyone going to sleep so that you can get back to doing your work which is awesome let's hope nothing spawned between here and the portal room so I can
get back in without any danger of dying. Ah, uh, this looks like his area where he is doing some staging. Here's his portal room. I'm like, wait a minute. So that was Creative Monkey's place. And now we'll head back. This is our old tunnel system, so it hasn't been fully connected to the hub correctly, and it definitely hasn't been decorated. This is a sample area of potential decorating theme for the nether hub. Uh, this is Chief's place. Let's go check out Chief's. I haven't been here in a long time. I'm so glad people put soul sand in so that we can get back and forth to places faster. Oh, I didn't realize he was so far away. Let me check my soul sand. Okay, my boots are good. I lost a pair of netherite boots the other day because I was not paying attention. And I'd been running back and forth on soul sand up here for a long time. And then it went clink and it was gone. Good, now the right boots disappeared. Okay, so looks like maybe he has a little farming setup here going on. Marlequin's workshop. I think he shares space up here with another one of our players, Knight. So I'm not sure who's built what here. Yeah, this has changed a lot since the last time I saw it. Oh, I wonder what he's got over there. Let's go look. Oh, it looks like there was a village here, maybe. At one point, so they've taken over the village and are using some of the stuff. Oh, <laughs> he's got a villager breeder, I heard it. Oh! Okay. We'll head back over here. This is a really long video, and I don't plan on making them like this in the future. There'll be single build reviews or tours instead of the entire community because it does take so long. But I wanted to get at least one down with everybody's builds in it. Hmm. Looks like it's just a tower. Looks like it has some... Let's go up there. Some shops. Some farms, maybe? Nope. Nothing here. Nothing here. I'm um, not sure what this is all about. I guarantee you this is not Chief's, I don't think. Because Chief does not build like this. Down into a mine. Although it could be juice. I'm not sure. I gotta get off the stairs. There we go. Ladder, not stairs. Well, they definitely have some farms going on out here. And that's really about all I see, guys. Let's see if we can make our way back to this portal. I just can't do this. I gotta go around.
Interesting. Okay. We'll head on out to Carly and Goose's. They're neighbors. They literally live right next door to each other. They live a really long way away too. But luckily at the end of this tunnel we can hop in a rail cart and I can save my soul speed. Ha. There we go. The server's been up for this season maybe six weeks. I think we started around the 27th of July. So almost eight weeks, almost two months. This is Carly's. Smelting system. Carly raises horses and breeds horses, and she's working on doing a race track for people to come up and race horses at. That's her storage area. Well, oh, she's got some good sized maps in here too. I like them. I love her glass wall here so you can see outside. That bridge goes over to Goose's, right across the river there. She's got herself a little enchanting area. <laughs> I wonder why she has that blocked off. Maybe bad things come in at night. Here's her dog house. She also likes to collect puppies. She needs to name them. And then, then this is her horse barn. A creative monkey's been working on it for her. And she grades them by how well they jump, how fast they are. I believe Anxiety is her fastest horse. Yeah, she hasn't named the other ones. Looks like someone likes to spam up a place. A creeper blew up a horse. Oh no! That's sad. And here she is with her. Oh, that one's pretty. I really like the horses in this texture pack. Then this looks like storage space for the stables then all of her little animal I always get too close to chickens her animals her farms all that good stuff let's get our bed out so we can sleep not sure where she went let's see the area that she's Prepping. 
Oh, she's sleeping for us. Look at all the mobs. It's crazy. They're ridiculous. I hear a skelly. She doesn't have any soul speed. <laughs> oh, she's using a, that's nice, an abandoned ruined portal. I love these. They're so cool. She knows I'm afraid of heights. Where she got me? Up here in the heights. Oh. My belly's turning. Yeah, this will be a good spot for a racetrack. She's gonna, this is gonna be awesome. Since we're close to Goose's, we'll go check his place out next. This lava is scary. You walk off here, boom, and jump right in.
probably going to have to timestamp this so that people who view it from the community will be able to just go to their build. Not sure if I know how to do that. I'll figure it out. Right here is Bruce's place. His is a work in progress as well. His is a really big build. It's sort of like a fort style. He's got these corners all the way around for this main area here. Here's some of his storage. And he's got more stuff over here. Another tower that he's working on. And then up over this way, he has, he's our, our pixel art map guy. So you can see he's got a bunch of pixel art up there, one of the big maps. And then a little bit further off is his iron farm. He'd probably want me to show you that, but it's kind of dangerous out that way. I don't want to blow up any of his stuff when he's not with me. Oops. Yeah, they have a raid tower in their backyard, basically. You can see the bridge on that over there. Carly's is right over that way. Not sure what that big thing is in the sky. I'm going to fall in a hole. Okay, just a platform. There's the bridge. We saw it from Carly's place, so that's how close they are. Just across the bridge from each other. That's where we came through. And this is his gigormous, literally gigormous, sheep shearing spot or farm. It's a triple spawn, triple sheep shearer so he has three rows of sheep of course you're going to need that much when you're running a wool shop so it does make things go faster he doesn't have to afk as long because he has so many and then like i said back over that way is his iron farm but i'll show that to you on another video when he's in playing as well He's been working on his game so much that he hasn't spent a lot of time playing here. All the way down there is a little vacation home, I call it, for Packrat and I that I'm getting ready to uh, start working on. It's actually a good spot for me to grow my trees for my log shop. It's nice and flat, plenty of room. So I'm going to build us a house out there. We live in the spruce woods on a mountain area, so not a lot of room for me to grow trees there. And I used to grow them on Spawn Island until we've got more and more shops and we're doing more things and I didn't want to take up the real estate. I think that's about it. I know Knight has his own build um, somewhere out by Chiefs, but I'm not sure where because I've never been there before. So I'll have to wait to show you that until he comes on the next time and uh, shows me around it first. And once I do that, I'll be able to uh, show you all. I'm trying to be easy on my soul speed. 
Gonna have to mend them up when I get back home. This tunnel here goes out to our fortress that's not very far from us, so that's where uh, we've had quite a few deaths because it is quite dangerous. So I've pretty much showed you all the bigger builds that we've got going on so far. I haven't shown you Wicked's, but she's the place that I went to where the creeper blew up as soon as I walked in. So I don't want to go out there again until I know she's got it lit up well because I don't want anything to happen. And she'll probably be on later today, so I'm sure I'll go off camera and go check it out. Because I want to see everybody's builds who come on. Oh, this direction is just a, a, a tunnel that goes to a portal out to Packrat and I's farm. So we have a gold farm and we have a creeper farm. So this is my base. This is the second level. I have some indoor crops here that I just use to maintain. I had large fields outside for a long time and got my stock all built up and now I just have them in here um, just to maintain whenever I trade with my villagers. It looks as though, is he going to make it to his bed? Yeah, he did. I'll show you the downstairs first. Let me sleep. This is our trophy room where we keep the heads that we collect or have been given to us by people. So we have a lot. And then down here is where I keep my farms. I do the zero tick thing, although really zero tick doesn't work anymore. I mean, it kind of does on bamboo, but you can only do a couple at a time. So you can't have the massive farms like you used to. And it definitely isn't zero tick on sugar cane. It's so slow, but it is faster than just standing there. If I had a good source of bone mill, I'd probably cherry them all out to bone mill. But I, I just don't. We don't have a skelly grinder right now. And going down into the nether and killing skeletons is just exhausting. So I just have a cactus and a little bit of um, sugar cane and the bamboo. And then this is my kelp, which it only works if you have two, only two kelp plants growing at a time. And it still breaks every couple of minutes. So you really can't uh, AFK at it. I've used and tried every design there is out there. And that's why I have this little walkway across the top so I can go back up and replant the kelp when it stops working. But it looks cool. It looks good. We're not big consumers of a lot of things. Most things if I need it, I buy in town. But I do like to use kelp for my fuel source. And because we have the creeper farm, I need the paper for a rocket shop. And this is our main floor. These are all of our birds. We just found the jungle the other day. Packrat and I. And we came back with four very noisy birds exhausting this is my spruce cabin basically it's a big house but it's a in this spruce forest so I'll show you here's my little kitchen area and a little living room area and then my sorting area I don't do a sorting system because I'm pretty OCD and I only keep the things that I use frequently um, everything else either gets pitched or given away to other people so I do manual sorting. I'm just not one of those people who likes to uh, have a bunch of stuff. Not to mention the sorters can, they can cause lag and they can break and they're just kind of a pain for me to deal with. So I, I don't deal with them. And then as you can see, my OCD-ness, I keep all my stuff very organized in my inner chest, which helps me not have to store so much here because I keep so much there. And then these are my dogs. This is morning. This is noon, and this is night. Here is my enchanting area. And then here is Packrat and I's bedroom. So pretty simple. And this is, this is Miss Kit Kat. I haven't name tagged her yet, but she's our creeper patrol here at the house. 
I used to keep my dog sitting outside and a creeper got by her somehow. I don't know if she got pushed off the stairs or what. And was standing right there one day when Packrat came out. And I had a dog sitting here and it killed my dog. So I had to move them in the house for their safekeeping. Down here is what brought us here in the first place. We were boating out when we first came to this uh, seed. And I saw this broken portal when we came into this cove and loved it. And then when we got closer, we realized that we're, there was a village here. And so we decided to stay. And we took over the village. We made this into our mining shack. So it goes down into Packrat's mine. And then I built a little fishing hut so we could stand here early game and fish. I don't do uh, AFK fishers because they're just not as... I don't think they drop as much loot as fishing in person. Unless you're going to stand there all night long, which I don't do. And then that's just a little storage uh, shack that we used to have that's empty now since I built the house. And this goes up to our main area. This is the barn I've been working on. I still have a lot of details to put out here. I have done none of the terraforming or the landscaping. I'm growing vines here to make uh, mossy cobblestone, mossy bricks, that kind of stuff. This is another one of our dogs I haven't named yet. And then in here is our main barn. This is where I keep my horses, Daisy and Duke. Got a couple skelly horses. A little bit of weed I grow for my cow cooker. Here's the barn cat. And then I have my own little mini sheep shearing set up for my own personal uh, needs. And then up here is my cow cooker. My Steakerator 4000 is what I call it. But it is literally based off of um, a build from one of the guys on um, Truly Bedrock that I've been using for a long time. I believe it's Rogue's build. I've used this for multiple seasons. It's one of the more easy to build and limited lag and limited waste of materials so I love using it um, this is just a little storage area this here eventually will be a loft for hay so I'll stage this out here with a crane or something I haven't got it all figured out yet so much to do get down my ladder this is just a little lookout area. I heard a monster somewhere, but I don't know where that monster could be because I did not see him upstairs. But I definitely heard him. Oh, nice. Shake's got a monster, or a zombie grinder going. That's really good. Definitely heard him. I wonder if he's on my roof. I hope not. So annoying. So the cows come down. And the baby cows fall in here. And then they grow up. And then in here is where I kill them with my looting sword. And then I have all the steak in the world. And leather. Packrat and I will never go hungry. Not quite bedtime yet. So this is my barn. And then this is my little look up there. I don't see a zombie. This is my little bee shop, my or my bee house. Mm -hmm. I just built this the other day. Started collecting some honey for my yep zombie all the way up there on my roof. I wonder if I can shoot him from here. Oh, tagged him. Scared myself. I don't know why those pop-ups are always popping up in my thing. It drives me crazy. Go for it, dude. I am not in the mood for you. Don't be messing up my stuff. I don't have time for you. I hear a llama somewhere. I've constantly got wandering traders spawning on my roof. I don't know why, but I do. Very annoying. Anyway, so here's the outside of the house from the front. Got a little bit of the lighting done. A little bit of the uh, plants put in. Not as easy to see it from down here. Let's 
see if I can climb up a little higher and show you all from a good vantage point. So as you can see, there's ocean out there. It's a really pretty little cove area. And then we're all in the spruce woods right here. If our render distance is up a little higher, you'd be able to tell a little bit better. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed my video. Hope uh, it wasn't too long. I mean, I know it wasn't short, but hopefully it wasn't too long. And I appreciate you watching. Let me know if you like it. Have a great day. Bye.